Shalom Israel. I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Kakwadash, double wanted to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to Lek out there doing this work of faith and labor of love, truth, sincerity. All right, and I'm going to just um, entitle this lesson um, Corona Kiss. All right, and as you can see on the screen, you know, it's obviously some worldly music or whatever, but uh, somebody had let me know. <clears throat> you know, this line, because they know, you know, I'm into things like this and, and stuff like that. So they sent it to me, and, and I listened to it, and I'm like, oh, damn. And, <clears throat> you know, the funny thing is, is that when, <laughs> you know, uh, these entertainers and people, they have something to say, people give so much ear to it. But when we got to say something, you know, if it seems like it falls on deaf ears. You know, but I'm going to just let this play real quick and then uh, we're going to break it down and get into the scriptures. Why in the black neighborhood the virus hit different than when they find the vaccine and got the chip in it? The so, hey, so just that part real quick right there. I'll bring it back one more time so you can hear it. Grow up soft is now regret. Why in the black neighborhood the virus hit different than when they find the vaccine and got the chip in it? Now, <laughs> you know, even rappers, you know, obviously, they know what's going on, you know. <laughs> so people will pay way much more attention to the rappers than they'll pay to us when we are the prophets, you know, of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. And, you know, I'll just look at the comments real quick, and you see this guy, why in the, he put the line that he just quoted, why in the hood the virus hit different than when they find the vaccine but got the chip in it, you know. So it's like people will pay way much more attention. Uh, <clears throat> let me put this on airplane mode now. To you know, uh, worldly things or, or worldly music and stuff. When they say it, but when it's coming directly from us, you know, they don't really want to hear it like that. You know, when we have the truth, we letting the people know what's going on. And you know, <clears throat> and even if you know these, as we can see, even you know these rappers and stuff that they're clearly aware you know of what's going on you know however you know they still in the world you know they still in the world they can rap about it all day this just gives more light to to the proof of what we're saying at the mark of the beast you know is the rfid chip because he's talking about the chip man and that's what it's all about you know esau trying to put the world through the greatest temptation ever by trying to by attempting to force people to take this microchip in which the vaccine may contain the microchip in it, you know. Um, um, this so this is uh Revelations 13 and 16. <clears throat> it says, and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell save he that have the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name, you know, and this is the mark of the beast that the Bible speaks of, you know, the RFID chip. Now, the vaccine may have it in it. It may not have it in it, you know. <clears throat> we know Esau like to switch things up. So, you know, <clears throat> we'll see how it goes, you know, as the time continues to go on. But we know what Esau's ultimate goal is, you know, is to chip the people and, you know, hey, people got to wake the hell up and, and and smell a rose and smell a drink the coffee, whatever it is, because, hey, this we already know that the way this is going, the world as we know it is drastically changing, man, drastically changing right before people's eyes. And they still don't realize it just because they waiting to get back to the club. They waiting to get to their normal lives. Well, hey, you're not going to be able to do that, man. You're not going to be able to do that. Um, Real quick. Yeah, this is uh. <clears throat> Romans 13 um, and 11, it says, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. <clears throat> so our salvation is right here, right before us, man, you know, and it's time for the rest of our, our brothers out, out there, you know, uh, to wake up and to come into their spiritual birth, you know, because one thing that you got to pay attention to is that, yes, we waiting for Yahweh Bashim Yahushat to bring along the prophecies. But remember, you know, you have uh, Israelites, you have other brothers out there that's going to come in 
at the last minute, you know. Now, that can be considered some of us young brothers in the faith and, and brothers that come in after us. You know, there's still some other brothers and things that have to wake up with a most I bring them to a higher realization or the most I have to put them through more things as well for them to get to the point that where they need to get to or for the Lord to put us in a state in which we need to be at to build up our strength more so that we're ready to withstand, you know, the battle with that great day. You know, these are some of the things that we got to constantly think about too. That's why it's so pertinent for us to constantly be built up within the faith and, 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 uh, and go harder, you know, as the time, uh, 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 goes on, you know? So, um, yeah, I continue on. It says, the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Let us walk honestly as in a day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envying, but put ye on of the Lord, Yahweh shout, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. Because this is all the world is still looking to do. This is why now, you know, uh, the new club is the new clubs is Facebook live and Instagram lives and you having hundreds of thousands of people joining a live and they partying in their own homes and, you know, bringing people over and doing this and doing that. That's all people are truly looking forward to. You know, they got their little stimulus package from uh, 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 from DJ Trump. You know, what I'm saying they feeling good about themselves. I think it's what's supposed to be another one on the way, you know. But yet they still quarantine. They still can't live their lives how they how they how they want to. But yet this is what they still worry about: the rioting and the drunkenness and the chamberness and the wantonness and being undisciplined, man. You know, and still going about everyday life. You know, on the internet beefing and all this old dumb stuff. It's it's going to constantly get worse and worse. And the more that these people's rights are being stripped away from them, you know, the worse our off is going to get. And we're going to see it within the near future, man, within these next couple of months, you know, especially during the summertime. If, if they don't completely lift the ban, you know, uh, during the summertime, it's going to be wild out here, man. You know, um, <clears throat> where I want to go to, uh, it's like, yeah, it's, uh, second Peter's is, uh, second Peter's three. And I want to start at, uh, verse eight and it says but beloved be not ignorant of this one thing that a d one day to the lord is, is a thousand years and a thousand years is one day you know <clears throat> because what we've been it seems like we waiting forever you know but hey the lord is on his timeline you know the lord is doing things according to how he best sees fit you know because he knows what's best for us overall so the you know the more time that we have within the society, the more time that we have to be built up to be ready for all that that's coming towards us. All right, verse nine: The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So the Lord not slack concerning His promise. His promise is right here for us, man. You know we just patiently waiting, and and when that time comes, you know we we got it. We the, the kingdom is before us. We just got to grab it man we just got to take hold of of uh everlasting life you know when it's approached right before us you know and that's ultimately the dying the mark of the beast the rfid chip that's us uh um pulling you know what i'm saying at everlasting life man you know <clears throat> verse 10 but the day of the lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up Seeing that these all that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be? And all holy conversation and godliness, meaning what basically our conduct when it gets into that word conversations, you know, uh seeing that you know uh all these sad prowls are to come upon here at Babylon, how are we to be conducting ourselves, you know, as as men of the Lord, professing ourselves as we profess ourselves to be men of the Lord, is how we are to carry ourselves, you know. Uh, righteously, you know, as, as much as possible to be an example for those uh, who are still doubting about this truth and for those who are yet to come into this truth, you know, <clears throat> so that it's a better rapport with them, you know, and a better rapport with the Lord overall, you know, how we represent representing uh, his word, you know, um, verse 12, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Lord, wherein the heavens 
being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements melt shall melt with fervent heat nevertheless we according to his promise look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness and you know that's the whole story of the matter is because you know this is what we're looking forward to we're now looking forward to continue to build here within the society you know we know we still have to maintain our composure we still have to go to work off you know what i'm saying brother got businesses or whatever you're going we still got to keep things going while we're here in babylon but this is ultimately not what we're looking forward to you know we're going to do what we got to do make ends meet you know what i'm saying and hey still handle our responsibilities until it's that time where we are pulled off of the streets or, or we're completely quarantined or, or Esau hold us off the concentration camps or whatever it be. You know, we're going to have to continue to to live and to move wisely, you know, in the spirit as, you know, uh, the times progress. And as we look forward to, you know, uh, this place being destroyed, you know, and our big brother, Yahweh Shah, you know, coming to save us, man, you know. So uh, with that, you know, I hope this segment was edifying. And I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rekakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the out there, doing this work of faith and labor of love and true sincerity. Shalom.